Hey there guys, so uh, to use the template uh, to make a batch, th there are a bunch of things that you want to do. For instance, you want to change that batch name and put a proper batch name. So if you double click on top of the text, you will see that the text is now, uh, you, you, you can select it. So I'm going to call my new badge, lovely badge. Uh, as you can see, it's not it's not quite lined up so uh, what you can do is you select the selection tool and you select the circle and as you can see in there control shift in the circle will allow you to play a bit with the text so that is more or less what we want to do um, you can also if you select it twice or oh, I'm going to uh, unselect it and now select it once and twice you will see that this arrows change slightly so if you if you play with the arrows you see what happens um, with this one we can move it and put it a bit more straight uh, with this one you can actually change it yeah, slightly it depends on where are your capitals and where your words start and end you might want to do that you can also you, you, you can also uh, if you have the text uh, selected you can also change the size if you want for instance uh, 12 it's going to be very small um, 16 18 is fine um, it depends on the how many words you have and everything else so that's what you can do with text uh, other things that you might want to do if you select the, the the circle you might want to change the color so for instance if you want a yellow badge uh, you just choose the yellow color it's a bit, it's, um, doesn't work out but <laughs> that doesn't work very well uh, let's go with olive we could have gone with red or something uh, let's go with olive uh, another thing that you want to do is uh, select this computer and delete it let me select it again and delete it select the screen and delete it and you're probably going to uh, you could you could paint something uh, you could put a star there or something uh, but uh, you're probably going to do want to um, do something different. Like for instance, uh, I have uh, an image ready that I want to import. So what I want, what I can do to import a, a PNG or a JPEG is just go to File and choose Import. And now I will select my I, uh, Android icon, as you can see in there, and. Um, you, you just click open you probably didn't see the open because it was out of the screen but um, you can choose embed or link whatever you want and here is the the Android Android icon what we want to do with this is uh, this is a PNG we want to convert it into a uh, vector so to do that we go to path and trace bitmap and this tool here, trace bitmap, you might have to play a bit with it. I know uh, the settings that work for this particular image. I want to remove the background. I want it to be smooth and stack scans is not really necessary. Uh, there is a video linked in in the challenge that will um, show you how all these things work. But uh, let's do a scan with eight. Uh, with the number of eight and uh, if you do an update you you will see a preview here so as you can see that's not exactly what I want uh, I want to go as low as three scans uh, because it, I want a very plain image uh, if you go down to two you see and you click update you will see what happens so and if we go up to four you see this additional green in here that I don't really want so three works for me so once you're happy with this uh, just click OK and as you can see here it updates uh, the image it actually makes a copy so if you drag this guy you will see the other one on the bottom you can actually select this guy and remove it so with this you, uh, if, if you're happy with the colors and everything else you that's all you have to do uh, you can use additional tools for instance you can paint uh, choose the paint bucket and click on this guy for instance and make it a bit different if you don't want the stroke uh, you can you can get rid of the stroke or something and uh, let me choose 
this other color and put that color in there that that looks okay for me at least for now and um, okay so what we want to do now is just get all of these guys and uh, select the object and group them so that you can uh, drag, it, drag it as if it was one so now you just put it in the middle there and if you if you press control and shift again and you pull it down uh, you can just make the size that you want so once you're happy with that and I think I'm happy with that uh, I could be happier but <laughs> that's good enough for now so the last bit to do is um, just select everything that is in there make sure that you select the outer uh, circle as well so that's what you want and now we are going to do file export bitmap and with this you just uh, choose a name uh, for the badge I'm going to call it lovely badge and export and now if you have a look in your uh, computer you should have something like this which is lovely badge if you open it you should have a final image like this and this is what you will uh, be asked to upload to P2PU if you want to add a badge to your um, challenge and that is all bye bye